Alrighty, alrighty, so this is a little tutorial for everybody that keeps asking about TeamSpeak and how to download it and work it. I'm going to run through it really quickly and just show you guys. Alright, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go over to our Discord and just type in TeamSpeak. Alright, I have this little prompt pop up. We're going to go ahead and click on that first link. Alright, it's going to bring us to this page right over here. Alright. You have your download link either up here or here. You can click free download. All right, depending on the specs of your PC, this is what you're going to download. Uh, if you have iOS, Android, uh, Client 64, Client 32, Client 64 macros, Linux, or my PC, we're going to do Client 64 bit. The first link. We just download it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And we're going to go ahead and just simply run through all the information all right it's going to update it you're going to just quickly run through it scroll down accept next you can just do it install for anyone using this computer it really doesn't matter here next what uh files you want to go into you can select a folder i'm okay with this folder next um, saving user's own file is fine. Next, you, if you want to put Overwolf, you can. You don't have to. You just install, and you're gonna hit finish. All right, and now you are gonna be uh, brought into the TeamSpeak menu. All right, you can just close out of this. You don't need it for now. All right, I'm gonna go back to Discord, back to that little prompt right here. I'm gonna click on the second link. All right, it's going to take you to the Sonoran plugin for your um for for Team All right, I downloaded 64, so I'm going to go ahead and click on 64 again. If you did 32, you'll download that. Uh Macro TS, you'll download that. All right, so I'll click on 64. It's going to go ahead and run it again. All right. It's going to be downloaded now. Make sure your uh TeamSpeak is closed when you're doing this. You're just going to click on that install. All right. It's going to ask you, you sure? Yes. Restart your TeamSpeak. Yes. And that is pretty much it. You got it installed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, minimize these, we're going to open up TeamSpeak. Alright, you're going to go press connections. You're going to hit connect. Mine, since I've already had this before, you're going to see everything pop up. Alright, here you're going to type in Oklahoma State Roleplay, just as it is. Here you're going to type in your nickname, however it's in the server. Mine's Agent27, M.Say, that's how I have it here. The password I'm not going to give you now, your uh, department supervisors will be able to give you that. All you have to do is hit connect. Connected. And it will bring you to the OKSRP lobby. May, right over here you want to make sure that you do have that Sonoran Radio um, version 1.0 installed. Alright. Once you do first initially connect, you will not have push to talk. You're going to have to set it. So you can go to tools. You're going to go to options. Alright. This is going to give you all your plugins, add-ons, we don't need any of this for right now unless you're using a controller then you can just hit enable joy uh, joystick support go to capture alright you're gonna go to capture mode it could be automatic best used and then capture device mine is my asteroid 50s that's what's here you're gonna enable this button for you it'll be unchecked make sure you check that and then you can set whatever your hotkey over here is mine is on my controller button 12 that's what it is you hit apply and then you'll hit OK all right. Once you do want to get in radio, make sure you go ahead and uh, click over Channel to this switched. one, where you can go in here and you'll be able to hear everybody. So for now, I'll just back. Channel out switched. This. Next thing that you want to do is you want to get into server. You can just open up 5M. Whenever 5M wants to open. Alright, you're going to connect to server. Going to verify everything. Alright. Mm. While you're loading into the server, I've been you can also go ahead and do is go back into CAD. Go ahead and just log into your CAD. Alright. Um, it's not really a big deal if you're not, but I suggest you do so it'll go ahead and match up everything. 
with your in-game need you know. Alrighty, cool. So, once you load in, you can go to any one of your characters that you have. Alrighty. Just gonna go to my OSPI character. Um, let me just spawn somewhere far away. Alright. Um, this next up, most of you guys may not have it, uh, it won't have it set up, so you're going to have to set it up. Alright, just hit P, go to settings, key bindings, alright, you're going to go to 5M, alright, so you can scroll up or down, you're going to go all the way up to where you see, oh, I skipped it completely right here, show radio, you're going to click a button that you really don't use, a lot of people have are using F4 since that's not attached to anything in the server. I have a full keyboard so I'm using 4 on mine. Alright, so if I go ahead and press the button 4, alright, it's going to pull up my radio. Alright, um, I'm going to show you a little bit more buttons before we go. So we can go back into key bindings. Alright, sorry, right here. Key bindings, 5M. Alright, you can scroll up again. So 4, you're going to see show radio. Alright, then you also have radio power, which I've set mine to 2. Radio panic, I suggest not setting this. I think it's glitched for some reason. If you do set it, it'll keep hitting your panic User button. joined your channel. Light, you in game? Um, after that, you're going to see... TeamSpeak? Oh, somebody's talking to me in TeamSpeak. Let me go ahead and close out of it. User left your channel. Disconnected. Alright. Um, okay, so you can set radio power. Alright, so you can turn your radio on and off. Alright, then you can set your previous. Alright, which means you can, without pulling up your radio, you can go backwards onto your channels. And then you can also set up next preset, which means you can go forward in your channels. Uh, let me just put up the back again. Just closed it. Alright, so you can open up TeamSpeak at any point. Um, you don't really have Connected. to be in game before or after to open it. Alright. So, since I have my key binding set, now I can press 4. Alright. I pull out my radio. The most right side is going to be your power. Alright. Your left side, uh, your middle button is going to be so you can change frequency. As you can see, it's changing frequencies. Alright. Your left button, I'm not going to press it, but it's the panic button. Okay. Um, and... So if you want to see, you know, if you want to just change your frequency from here, you can go over here, click this, and you can go to different frequencies, right from here. Alright, next thing usually you want to do is, so, say if I'm in a different pursuit channel and I want to be able to listen to, um, still the main RTO, I can go ahead, go to county, go to scan list, and add that channel. So I have county and city scanned over here, so no matter what RTO I'm in, so if I'm... ODOT, and I want to keep listening to my radio, but I also want to listen to the county radio just in case they need to call me. I can scan that channel, and I'll be able to listen to it even though I'm in the ODOT channel. Same thing goes with if I'm an attack channel, I'm in a pursuit channel, it will be able to tell you, you'll be able to listen to the other radio. Alright, so now, uh, to close out your radio, you're just going to hit escape, alright, and close it out. And the buttons you set. Number two, for me, is the on and off preset, so I can turn the radio on and off without even pulling it up okay now if you want to go to the next ones as like I said I've had mine set to 1 and 3 so if I want to do previous I just do previous preset it's gonna tell me what channel I'm on I'm on Oklahoma ODOT fire back to tack 1 city county or I can move forward the next preset it's gonna tell me what radio I'm at the loading the ODOT channel 1 to or I can go back so that's the way you can go back and forth you want to make sure that you know you have your bar here it's green the way it's going to be is green is once you're logged into CAD and you're logged into your Sonoran radio all right uh, that's a basic how to on how to set it up if you guys ever have any questions or anything like that just hop in RS and we will be more than happy to sort it out for you thanks for watching much love bozos